Boy, Democrats had lots of money. Yeah. Uh, that that uh, they funded uh, from your paycheck through Ukraine mm-hmm. into a crypto company. FTX. And then that guy, FTX, that guy then gave second biggest donor to Democrats behind only, George Soros. After only George right. Soros. Mm-hmm. George Soros donated, uh, I believe, $128 million. Uh-huh. And, uh, and this guy was right behind. What do they call him? SBF? SBF yeah. Sam Bankman Friedman was right behind. Uh, Freed. Yeah, not Friedman. Uh, FTX had some eye-opening connections to powerful entities and individuals around the world before it all came crashing down. It made waves with early endorsements by NFL legend Tom Brady, supermodel Giselle Bündchen, NBA superstar Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry. Uh, FTX spent money on a Super Bowl com- commercial featuring Seinfeld creator Larry David. In 2021, FTX inked a reported 135 million 19-year deal with NBA's Miami Heat to rename the American Airlines Arena wow. FTX Arena. Mm-hmm. Major League Baseball struck a five-year deal. I think we showed you the name tags, or not the name tags, but the patches that the umpires were wearing last week, the FTX patches. <laughs> they signed a five-year deal with Major League Baseball, and then, of course, they completely collapsed. Within a few days, FTX co-founder Sam Bankman Freed, known as, as we just said, SBF, lost almost all of his $16 billion fortune in what Bloomberg called one of history's greatest ever destructions of wealth. Well, it was kind of like, it was kind of Enron-like. I mean, he he didn't really legitimately have that to begin with. Yeah, well, the, that money um, actually was uh, uh, part of the TV commercials that you saw during the campaign. So when you saw a Democrat campaign ad, uh, it likely Could have been was, financed by him. Uh, which would have come from your paycheck through Ukraine. We knew what, we knew something was going on with Ukraine, and here you go. On Friday, the Bahamas-based FTX forced to file for bankruptcy after $473 million of its funds were stolen in a hack of the crypto exchange, <laughs> cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, customers rushed to withdraw their fu- funds, but it was too late. Reuters reported that between $1 and $2 billion in customer funds vanished from the FTX cryptocurrency exchange. The outlet also claimed... FTX secretly funneled $10 billion of customer funds into his trading company, Alameda Research. The Daily Mail claimed that SBF's alleged girlfriend, Carolyn Ellison, ran that sister trading company. (laughs) Jeez. Nice little scam they had going. This is big. Until it all came down. Yeah. The New York Times noted, despite raising $2 billion, he remained the majority owner of the company. No investors joined FTX's board of directors. No investors joined the board. The board was made up of Bankman Freed, an FTX employee, and a lawyer. That's it. And they've just fired him, actually. Uh, The other two must have gotten together and said, okay, we need you out, Sam. They fired him and filed for bankruptcy. Same day. Uh, Before the cryptocurrency exchange collapsed, he was a major major financier of the Democrat Party. Surprise! Yeah, it's amazing, though, that the the story actually broke on Election Day. (laughs) How convenient was that? Yeah, we... Yeah, couldn't it happen two days before or a week before? (sighs) I mean, not that it made much of a difference, but I mean, at the same exact time that Ukraine was partnering with FTX, that's the exact time that we started funding billions upon billions of tax dollars from Biden to Ukraine. I mean, this, the money this should be scheme. the biggest story of the century, and mm. instead it will just It'll fade away. away. Yeah. SBF contributed more than $5 million to Joe Biden in group supporting him. Uh, he was apparently, he said he was motivated by Biden's generic stability and decision-making process. <laughs> So you know that's a lie. Uh-huh. Bankman Freed gave Democrats nearly thirty-seven million in the election cycle. Jeez. Second biggest individual donor to the Democrats, only surpassed by the one twenty-eight, hundred and twenty-eight million from George Soros. 
In May, Bankman Freed said he expected to donate north of $100 million to Democrats in the election cycle. But he vowed to have a soft ceiling of political spending of a billion if President Donald Trump, former President Trump, ran again. Because, you know, they hate Donald Trump. The 30-year-old billionaire was able to gain access to a top Biden advisor weeks before he offered vast political donations to the Democrats. Washington Free Beekman, <laughs> Beacon reported that uh, Bankman Freed met with top uh, Biden advisor Steve Ricchetti on April 22nd and May 12th. Huh. So he had nice access yes, he did. to the White House. Mm-hmm. His brother, who handles the billionaire's political operations visited the White House on March 7th. SBF largely funded the Democrat Protect Our Future PAC that only launched in May of this year. And uh, his brother said the PAC was formed to stop the next pandemic. Okay. All righty. All right. So, I mean, time and time again, every time, another check would be written and sent over there. I mean, this is what was happening, apparently. And, apparently. And who's going to prison for this? Absolutely no one. So to recap, you went to work, worked your ass off, uh, paid your taxes under threat of force. Your federal government then sent money to Ukraine. Ukraine invested it into FTX. FTX invested that in the Democratic candidates, and now the money is gone because they paid for these campaigns that have just taken over the Senate and probably the House. Yeah, Coindex, Coindesk reported in March, aid for Ukraine, which was the backing, had the backing of crypto exchange FTX. Staking uh, pla- their platform Everstake and Ukraine's Kuna Exchange. And they were going to route donated crypto to the National Bank of Ukraine, which they did. Wow. Ukraine's crypto savvy Minister of Digital Transformation is also involved. Hmm. Aid for Ukraine is cooperating with the cryptocurrency exchange FTX, which converts crypto funds received into fiat, and sends the donations to the National Bank of Ukraine. Marks the first ever instance of a cryptocurrency exchange directly cooperating with a public financial entity to provide a conduit for crypto donations. Earlier this month, FTX already converted a million dollars worth of SOL and transferred it to the National Bank of Ukraine. So this thing is rotten to the core. Absolutely Mm -hmm. rotten to the core. Is anybody going to care? Will the FBI look into this? <laughs> That's funny. They got jokes on Monday morning, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I've heard not a peep out of anybody talking about investigation. I guess an investigation is underway by, I don't know, the SEC. Mm. Okay. I don't know why the Southeastern Conference is involved in this, but... Uh, would actually be the Security and Exchange Commission in this particular case. Uh, but it's just, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if the F- FBI picks it up, if anybody picks this up at the Justice Department, are we going to at least look into it? And of course, the answer is probably no. No, it will go nowhere and it will be off the radar long before the next election cycle begins, which doesn't matter anyway, as we're learning. Power in the D. And they seem to have things pretty well under control right now. Yep. From the educational system to the election system uh, to the Justice Department. They got things going on really well for themselves. Uh, We have the FTX uh, promotional video. Oh, yeah. We should show that now since we were just... Speaking of FTX, yeah, and how wonderful it yeah, is. Th- this this is what they uh, shared out there on social media to, to urge people to invest. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Sam is not a traditional billionaire because he believes in the concept of earn to give, which means his goal as a human <laughs> is to make as much money as possible <laughs> just a, to give it away. A joke. Earn uh, to know. give. And Slow that's motion exactly drama, baby. What he's doing. So let's say that you have a hundred dollars and 
and you want to figure out what you can do with it to help the world. Earning to Give is thinking about which causes, which charities save the most lives per dollar. This hundred dollars can go as far as huh. it possibly can to uh -huh. help the world. We know where it's Last going. Last year, this 29-year-old guy donated 50 million dollars. Next year, he's planning to donate 500 million dollars a year. And next decade, he will probably give away probably. more than 10 billion dollars. Oh. You're damn right he did. <laughs> Six, <laughs> try the 60 good that you can do uh, for the future of the world is is really large, and it's way more than you can do to actually right. make yourself happy make with yourself happy. anything like that. Okay. Of money. And he is funding everything you can think of. He did a fist Global bump. You know he's a good warming. guy. Global warming, so Pat. Oh, good, good, good. good. Together as a Got to tackle it. Right. Covid nineteen preparedness. Covid nineteen. See, gotta be ready. Gotta be ready. He, he's holding a mask. Neglected see? tropical diseases. Neglected. Oh, More boy. than a billion people suffer from them. We right. have to eliminate right. these diseases. And of course, <laughs> animal, animal welfare. Animals need it. Animals deserve to live just like we do. It's also why I'm vegan. Sam He's vegan. doesn't need the That's money had all to buy a Lamborghini yeah. or to buy a Rolex or to impress his friends. In nah. fact, <laughs> his car is a Toyota Corolla. What's Hold your, on. What are you Where, where's your car? So? What it's you uh, that one there. That's oh. like what, a Toyota? What's wrong uh, with a Toyota? It's a Corolla. Why don't you buy a Lamborghini, man? I didn't have any particular need for one. He wants wow, to wow, get that's, rich in order that's to really impact great. the world and well, change Well, he did. It. He yeah. did. Uh, he impacted the world. Oh, man. Boy. What a fraud. What yeah. an absolute fraud. Right down to the, like you pointed out there, he's standing in front of his fridge when he's yeah. saying, yeah, he's a vegan. And then people on social media pointed out, well, what are all the eggs doing behind you in that refrigerator? Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that is awesome. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, so, so I'm guessing the go. 500 million a year donation thing is off. <laughs> You know, at one point, his company, FTX, was valued at $32 billion. $32 billion. It's, it's virtually worthless now. Well, they just declared bankruptcy, so you know it's not doing extremely well. <laughs> it's just, it's, a, it's amazing. I mean, I, I don't know how you think you're going to get away with it in the long run. I mean, you might get away with it for months or a year or two or whatever. But eventually, it's going to catch up to you when you're doing these scams.